Hi everyone, it's Julie, and this video serves as a companion to the letter you would have received in your email, which I hope that you will read, that announces the news that I, along with the vestry and in consultation with the Lutheran Church of Framingham, have made the decision not to regather for the remainder of the year 2020. This means that all worship, in-person gatherings, meetings, children's and youth programming, and outside groups will continue virtual only. This means that our usual fall and early winter events, such as St. Andrew's Day, the Harvest Dinner and Auction, Advent and Christmas services, and the Christmas pageant will be online only. More information on that will be coming. Small services, such as baptisms, funerals, and weddings will occur following diocesan and CDC guidelines and at my discretion. The reason for this, of course, is that COVID is not improving, especially here in Framingham. We now are in week four of being a CDC res designated red zone, which means that our rate of transmission is getting higher and higher. The Board of Health has been recently reaching out to churches, seeing that churches that have reopened are hot spots of transmission and are asking churches to consider not reopening if they can. And it means that schools have still not gone to in-person learning. They are all fully remote. And all residents of Framingham are now being asked to get tested for COVID-19. It's just not safe for us to be together yet. The good news is that we're making some changes. One is that we will be live streaming our, mo our morning prayer services on Sunday mornings from the church. And it means that we'll be having a congregation-wide meeting on October 11th following the 10 a.m. morning prayer service. This will be a chance for us to hear how we're doing, hear what ministries have been up to over these months, to have a chance to ask questions of the vestry and to check in with each other as well. This is hard news for us to hear. This is not anything anyone expected. We didn't think that we would be separated for this long, but it's just not safe for us to be with one another at this time. This is the way that we are called to be loving to our neighbors and to one another is by being separated, which is against everything we believe as Christians, yet we are called to care for one another in this kind of way. I pray that you're well. I miss you. I look forward to the day when we can be together again, and I encourage you all to keep the faith. Thanks.